Good morning, Grade Six. Welcome back to Grade Six Mathematics class. I hope you all are having a great day today. So let's start a new chapter, Chapter Five: Integers. So far, we have learned about natural numbers and whole numbers. So what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are the numbers that we use as counting numbers. The numbers that come naturally to us when we count a few objects. So the set of natural numbers, it includes the number one. It starts with the number one and all the numbers greater than one. So the set of natural numbers starts at the digit one and it extends to infinity. Now, when you add the digit zero to the set of natural numbers, we call that new set the set of whole numbers. So the set of whole numbers starts at zero and it includes all the digits and numbers greater than zero. It starts at zero and extends to infinity. So what do you call the numbers which are greater than zero? You call them as positive numbers. So the numbers less than zero are called negative numbers. So what do you call it when you add the negative numbers also to the set of whole numbers? That new set will have negative numbers, zero and positive numbers. And what do you call that set? You call that as the set of integers. So what are integers? Integers are numbers including negative numbers and whole numbers. That is the numbers including negative numbers, zero and the natural numbers. So the set of integers is usually represented by the capital letter Z. So the set of integers that is capital Z, it contains the elements negative numbers, zero and positive numbers. You see zero is neither considered positive nor negative. Zero is considered as a whole number. It is neither positive nor negative. So you can say integers equal to the collection of whole numbers plus negative numbers. One thing you have to keep in mind is that integers do not include decimals or fractions and integers can be positive and negative. So there are positive integers and negative integers. So let's redefine the set of integers as the collection of positive integers, zero and negative integers. So I hope the concept of integers is clear to you. Now in your textbook, in page number 62, you can see the chapter five begins in the same page. And there is a flashback exercise given there. So as an activity for the day, you have to complete this flashback exercise. So just go through the questions given there. You can complete the answers there in the textbook itself. So once you're done with the exercise, you can take a picture and send this to teams. So that's all for today, children. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.